Welcome back to Sports Nightly. You know, every great story must come to an end, and such is the case with the current run of Anthony Wayne basketball. When they return to the court this next winter, it will be under a new head coach as Brian Borcher has stepped down this past week. Coach was in studio with us earlier on this week and now joins us for our Sunday Spotlight. We are pleased to be joined by now former Anthony Wayne boys basketball coach Brian Borcher, although you're still sporting the A's up basket. It's hard. I got a lot of them. I was going to say, yeah. plenty of swag, yeah, right? Absolutely. Free clothes yeah. are cool. Uh, you announced that you have stepped away this week, and I, the first obvious question, why? Well, before the why, it, it was the hardest decision I probably ever had to make, Eric. Um, it's been something that I've been thinking about for a while. Uh, when I took the job six years ago, I kind of gave myself five years. You know, there was, there was a, a, a problem that I wanted to fix within our basketball program. With the help of a lot of people, we did that. And then, um, you know, you, yeah, I just got to the point where my kids who, were, who are now 13, 11, and 8 are just involved in so many activities. Um, you know, my wife has a career. My heart started being pulled in another direction. You know, when you find yourself on those on those long bus rides mm -hmm. and your family's somewhere else or you're missing the daddy-daughter dance or there's a seventh grade basketball game or a gymnastics meet, you know, I just started feeling like, you know, maybe it's time. And the longer the season went on and especially how the season culminated and us uh, winning a championship, it was like, this is the time. This is the right time to do this. Very rarely do you get to, to go out on those terms. Um, and it's something that I can look back at and go, you know, we left that a lot better than, than we found it, um, obviously with the help of a lot of people. Well, and this is what I was going to say mm -hmm. is, what better way to step away sure. than leaving them with a championship and walking sure. away as a champion? Uh, is What was the reaction like from the guys? Uh, I know you want to talk to your team before yeah. you made that announcement. It, it was, like I said, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, to look at a room full of guys you care deeply about, um, that you, you form this special bond with, you know, for me, you know, I, I start working with those kids in the third grade. Uh, we put together a travel program, and so I've known a lot of these kids for a lot of years. Um, it was very hard to do. I felt like I was disappointing them. Um, I felt like I was letting them down. Um, but, you know, to me, to, to walk away from something that I love dearly to something I love even more, that's a good problem to have. Sure. And um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I know I, I, I did the right thing for the right reasons. Um, and, you know, that, that, that'll, uh, I did feel real good yesterday. And yeah. it's, it's getting a little better today. Yeah. And, you know, we'll have our banquet next week and we'll celebrate our seniors and we'll celebrate what we did this year. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was tough. It was hard. And, uh, you know, I love those guys, guys quite a bit. And my phone blew up with former players uh, texting me and, and it was just kind of a kind of a bittersweet day yesterday. And, and guys like me say, "What? Why did you not tell me this?" I mean, my God, Sorry. we graduated from <laughs> me together back. I don't know it's been a long time. It was like a hundred years ago. Yeah, but, yeah. but it, we're not that old that you can't sure. just call me. Okay, but obviously, I think anybody that has kids and, and uh, several kids can understand. Mm -hmm. You want to be there for those moments and coaching, <clears throat> whatever level it is pulls your time, and, oh, and, and you had mentioned that it's hard to turn off when you get home. You can't just be like, hi, honey, and then you know talk about the kids today. You're still thinking about the You're game right. or the game coming up. Yeah, it, it's, it's like having two full-time jobs, actually. and uh, Not getting paid for two full-time <laughs> exactly. jobs, for sure. And the type of person I am, even when you're home, you're thinking, you're scheming, you're plotting, you're you're putting the other scouting reports, you're watching film. It, it's just a, it's a lot. And... Um, I loved every minute of it, but it, it just was time. You know, I, I look back at when I was their age, my kid's age. My dad was done coaching, and he was always home when I was home, mm -hmm. when I'd get, get home from school, and it was either, you know, we were shooting hoops or playing catch or he was pitching me baseballs or just hanging out. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of dad I want to be, and I only get one, one chance to do this, and right. I want to make sure I get it right. So. so, with that said, your youngest is? Kelsey. She's eight. Eight. Okay. Yes. So, you're, we're in our mid, early 40s, early mm -hmm. 40s. We're still young. Yes, we are. Uh, the the follow-up is, would you get back into it? Oh, I think down the road, possibly, yeah. yeah. You know you know me well enough that if you're a board shirt, you're kind of associated with basketball. Well, it's kind of what we do, yeah. um, for, good or, for good or worse. My, uh, my dad didn't teach me how to build cupboards or change <laughs> oil. He taught me how to play basketball. So. <laughs> Um, you know, it's kind of what we do. It's kind of in our blood, and, and you know, I, I'm sure someday down the road, um, if, if it's the right thing, you know, we'll, we'll see. But uh, 
it's what I like to do. Uh, and especially what we were able to do at Anthony Wayne, um, I can look back at that with a lot of pride and, and, and say we really did something that was special to win two championships and within five years and a district championship. And, um, you know, it's, it's very rarely can you look back at something and go, man, we planned, we had a vision, we planned it out, and we accomplished that, right. you know, in, in the short amount of time we did. So a lot of special people along the way to thank. Uh, you know, and just a lot of uh, a lot of great memories. So I can't, I would be remiss if I didn't say everybody in this area and everybody in, in the region <clears throat> knows about Mark Donnell and, and the journey he's made and your chance or your opportunity to spend that time with him. You said everybody's special, we get that, but obviously Mark has done some incredible things as sure. playing for Michigan now in the NCAA tournament. Uh, just your thoughts, your recollections of your time with him. Well, I've known Mark since he was two or three years old. So you my, were taller than him, man. <laughs> my, time, <laughs> my time with Mark didn't just start a couple years ago. So I've been good friends with this family for a lot of years and they're special people to me. Um, they've led me kind of into their family uh, and, my, and my kids have got to experience a lot of things with Mark at Michigan. Um, so it's, it's been very, very fun to watch him grow and mature, to see how he's handled the good, the bad, um, the business that's college basketball and uh, He's just handled it so well. Like I could be more proud of him. You know, he's 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 kind of grown up into a to a fine man who's got a bright future, um, whatever he decides to do. And you have Michigan winning your bracket, right? I do. <laughs> I do. Good answer. Uh, a final question. So we mentioned that you're going to be the dad now, uh, but you're still in the Anthony Wayne mm -hmm. schools. Give me an idea of what's next professionally for you from that that avenue. Oh, that I don't know. I'm, I'm still you know seventh grade teacher, so uh, it'll be kind of nice to roll my sleeves up a little bit more with with that role. Um, but uh, you know, I told the players yesterday, it's not like I'm going to Alaska. Right. I'm uh, I'm still going to be here in room 103 at the junior high. Whenever you need me, come find me. I'll help you however I can. Um, you know, I, like I said, I care about those kids a lot. I want to see them do well, whether I'm their coach or not. So, you know, as far as that goes, I'll be, I'll still be at games. I'll still be following Anthony Wayne basketball and, and be, be their biggest fan. Well said from the former, now that sounds weird, that former Anthony Wayne general basketball coach and former Mommy Panther, Brian Borchardt. <laughs>